Hey everyone, I'm Brian Brown doing. Hey everyone, I'm Tom Roth. And you're watching the Versus series brought to you by StarCityGames.com. All right, so we are here for another standard versus video, and we are playing some decks from the Philadelphia SCG Open, which was last weekend. Uh, I know Tom was there and uh, put up a strong finish, but just a little bit short of the top eight. Uh, I personally wasn't in attendance, but it really looked like Abzan just kind of dominated the tournament. Yeah. Uh, it was four out of the eight copies. It was four out of the eight decks in top eight, and then it was the entire top four. Uh, so it seems like Abzan was really just the dominant deck of the tournament. It was. Uh, it was we felt like it was a weak one deck, but I think Everything's come around full circle now that uh, just it probably is just the best deck. And I was just playing Bant Megamorph for my for my tournament and it was fine. It was probably better than a field full of Grixis uh, or Just Guy Black rather. Um there was that, but the Abzan guys seemed to have figured out the way to beat the Grixis stuff. I don't know how I say that. The Just Guy Black guys and just pretty much everything else. Yeah, being Grixis is easy. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's like Grixis white. I don't know why I say that. <laughs> or orally Grixis. That's what I like to call the deck. Mm -hmm. Just, there it is. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I know, like testing for the Pro Tour, I couldn't figure out Abzan, but I was like, I bet in two weeks it'll be the best deck again because it just always is. So yeah, it turns out that it was, and I couldn't figure it out. But anyway, we're gonna be battling. Uh, I'm gonna be playing the Abzan deck that won the tournament. However, I made a slight change to it. Uh, I know a lot of people were trying out snapping Gnarled in these Abzan or green-white decks, so I wanted to give it a shot myself. Don't know if it's good or not, but we'll find out in the video. And I'm playing, uh, so I cut Hanger Back Walkers, I'm playing snapping Gnarled in their place, so we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, I played snapping Gnarled and, and Bant Magmorph. I got the Hanger Back Walkers as well. They were okay. It got games over a little bit faster than before. Um, for me, I'm playing uh, green-black Eldrazi as piloted by Scott Robbins. He started off 8-0-1 in the tournament, which was one of the Undefeated after day one, but he finished uh, three and three on day two to end up being X three one, which was just a little bit short of top eight for for this open, which was gotcha. kind of on the large side. It was almost six hundred people, twelfth um, place. In some other tournaments, that could be a top eight, but yeah, definitely, yeah. I think it's the best ramp uh, version. I really like how Catacomb Sister kind of bridges a gap in the early games to get to your late game. So I'm gonna try that version. Yeah, one of the issues with the ramp is just the inability to do anything in the first like three four turns of the game. So yeah. Yeah, it is nice to have some early plays. So, All right, well, let's get to the game and see how it plays out. All right, you want to do a good old-fashioned high roll to see you guys first? Let's do it. All right. Five beats foe. Last I, I feel checked. like we've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I win with below sevens a lot. See, I don't. All right, so we'll start. Not quite sure what a grid opening hand looks like, but I'll figure it out. This cannot be it. We'll go back. Yeah, I don't know what a good opening hand looks like either, but four lands, three Anna Fences probably is not it either. So we'll shift that one back. Mine was just seven spells. Okay, so I actually like opening hands with Umog in them. That's pretty much all I'm going to say. I think it's one of the cards that you build a deck for, and if you have trouble finding it, then, well, your deck doesn't do anything in the late game. But I'm going to keep. All right, well, this hand is beautiful, so I'm I'm really happy about this one. I'm going to keep it. Peek at this card right here. This is the third land we need. Um, don't have any of our colorless lands, but I'll deal with it. All right, I'm gonna scry, and this I'm gonna go ahead and bottom this because we already have uh, a turn two and a turn three play, so I don't want another one of these. I'm gonna want like something that I can play later in the game. All right, old, off shot is old jaddy, and there actually is exactly what I'm talking about. The uh, the rhinoceros. All right, we'll lead with a Shambling Vent. Actually, hold on, I don't think I can actually... No, I can do that. That's fine. Yeah, here we go. Right. I want to make sure that I could do that and still curve out right. Okay, one from Jungle Hollow and one from the offshoot go 22. Sure. Then your turn. All right, Jaddy might be a problem beating that card, but we'll not snap it up. You're up. Hmm. What do I want to do about snapping Narlith? Do I want to put this here? Catacomb Sifter in play. Trying to go ahead and snap one off on Tom Ross. <laughs> Might make him think about this play or that play. I guess I'll play it. All right, so you go to 23? Yeah. All right, old, go ahead. Old Catacomb Sifter. All right, well, we're going to draw and play a Windswept Heath and attack for three. No great block. If it was a 3-3, maybe I'd double block, but I'll take it this time. All right, well, we'll fetch and make it four. I'm going to get a basic planes, and then post-combat, I'm going to play an Anafenza. So 
get some pressure going here, and hopefully that's going to be enough to get the job done. So I'm at 19, you're at 19 as well. Yeah. All right. You're up. Maybe I should have got blocked and got a sky trigger before an offensive came down. Definitely have to cast this pilgrimage because I'm about to miss my land drop. The one force will get in play. All right, so I'm assuming you're going to go ahead and gain two yeah. life this turn up to 21. Yeah. Yeah, how many cards are you in? Three? Or two? Probably three. 21. I'm done. Yep. Done after that? Yep. Not going to bash. <laughs> I don't think I can. Into my open Anafenza. All right. Uh, we're not not drawing the best. All right. So we'll play this, trigger off this, and then we'll attack with both and put a counter on it. Sadly, I still can't block very well. How much is eight ish, maybe? Uh, it's eight right now. Probably just have to take it. All right. We'll make it nine. So I'm gonna go to eighteen, and then you're gonna go to twelve. Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna get a Canopy Vista. My one swap teeth. And then I'm going to play a post combat siege right now. So okay. I'll be at 21 and you'll be at 9. Curve too good. Alright, go ahead. Just conjure a way to play a new Umog next turn. Don't know how I can. Oh, I got a spell that can kill something. That's bad. Killing stuff is bad. Probably gonna miss my land drop next turn. Don't know what I can do about that. Gain. This will come in play tapped, and I'll play this other one as my land drop. So you go to eleven. Yeah, I go to eleven. Guess I'm gonna take five in this rhino at least, which is not great. Wait, was there any way I could get an extra forest? I would have to sack my scion. Wait, I guess, no, I might have a different land drop I want to play next turn. I'm not sure. Well, I'll just completely disregard that. All right, it has it has been disregarded. 11. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, yep, you're at 11. Okay. All right, and we'll draw for turn. So I currently can Ulamog if I draw Shrine of Forsaken Gods. All right, so... I don't think that I want to play this yet. I think I'll I can play it next turn, or maybe I actually maybe I do have to play it this turn. Maybe I do. Let's see. So he can play Ugin next turn. Just something I have to keep in mind. So let's see. I'll play a Smoldering Marsh. Okay, I think I figured out how I want to play this turn. So, start by attacking with these two. All right, I need a block, so I will. Okay, so you're going to take five, go down to six. And yeah. That gets... Oh, I actually, sorry, I messed... I did the wrong thing. I wanted to... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to act activate this and put the counter on Shambling Vent. Okay, that'll, that, make, yeah. that'll make things harder for me. All right, so that's what I want to do is, yeah, do that. Sorry. There, there's a reason why I'm doing this, and I'll explain it shortly. But um, so I'm currently at eleven. Yeah, currently at eleven. I don't think I can take seven this turn. I'll just block some big creatures. Yeah, I guess I'll just block stuff. Take four. Oh, I'm not. I'm not actually attacking with the vent. Oh, you're not. Okay. No, no, no. I'll I'm just. just block I, then. Yeah, I'm just activating it. Okay, so you take four down to seven. Yeah. All right, and that gets exiled. And the reason I'm doing that is so that um, I can silk wrap the Eldrazi Scion. Okay. Um, that way, if he plays Ugin, he can't get something back if he minuses, and that way our shambling vent is like bigger in case of an Ugin. So go ahead. All right. What do I need? Okay. All right, off shot. Gave me two. <laughs> okay, so you go to nine. 
get some vegetables. Do I want second black? So sometimes I don't want to get the actual swamp out of my deck, just in case I might cast an Oblivion Sower and hit something like is I don't know, Polluted Delta or uh, Blessing Myers in his deck. So I don't think I need a second black right now, so I, I won't. Oh, I guess I will get it because I don't have another basic land in my deck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have seven force and one swamp as the basic lands. So I gained life up to nine. Yep. I cast the catacomb sifter, get my cyan back. Sure. And I'm done. All right. Might be tough to beat. I'll draw for turn. And let's see. Play. Flood strands. Go ahead and activate Shambling Vent. And I'm going to attack with everything and I'll put a counter on the Rhino. It's a pretty good choice. Going to four, is that bad for me? Probably not. These creatures don't do anything else, so they'll, they'll block. Okay, so you take five down to four. Um, I gain three up to 24. They gone. And I'll say go. I get to keep my Eldrazi sign on play. <laughs> okay. On cast, I guess I'm getting rid of... I don't want to get rid of the Shambling Vent, but it doesn't matter. I guess these two. Okay. All right, go ahead. I'll fetch. Go to 20... Was... Go to 23, I guess. So I'll get a Sunken Hollow. Oh, you did gain three life, huh? Yep. So, Abzan Charm would be great. You have any cards in hand? No. Imagine this is how this deck plays. Cast a new bog. Hope you're on another one later. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't have... Uh, what's it? Sanctum of Vukin around? Alright, untap. Draw. Alright, well, we can't. You're at four, right? Yeah. We cannot kill him. Um, or deal Sweet. with the Ulamog. We can do is play a Anafenza and a Warden of the First Tree. Oh, Warden might beat me. And then I'm just going to say go here. So we need him to draw nothing this turn. And, yep, nothing? that's about it. That is, what is that? Okay, let me see here. Can I attack you? <laughs> So if he draws nothing, we have enough attackers here. Um, well, he can't. If he at, if he doesn't attack, we still can't kill him. But Six, seven. thirteen. You've been through sixteen cards so far. So I'm trying to see if there's two attacks seven, can eight, get you. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I've been through sixteen cards, so I'm at forty-four left in my deck. It's nice being above twenty life. That's for sure. I'm casting silver screen. Okay. Normally I get one of these two, but I think I'm past that point. There is a Blighted Fin in here, which might save me a little bit. I think I want to use it before you can Shambling Vent me. Or Sacrifice Shambling Vent, rather. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't think it matters when I attack. Well, if you attack, I believe you're dead. But I'll, I'll Blighted Fin you. Or, or, I guess you can sacrifice the vent, can't you? Yeah, I can activate and sacrifice. Oh, well, hold on a second. If you attack me, either way, you're dead, because either way, I can have a f two four power creatures and you're a four. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just use it. Okay. So you can sacrifice the vent if you feel like it, I guess. Uh, let's see. Do I tap enough mana? I probably tap too much. For whatever it's worth. I think I just probably sacrifice the warden, honestly. Well, yeah, I'll just sack the warden. All right, go ahead. But don't die. And I guess I should probably fetch. Yeah, I go to 22. The top card was old shambles. Old shambling. Ah, uh, not shambles, it was gnarls. That's what I'm thinking about. Snap and gnarled. 
All right, come into something good. How about a? Uh, how about an Abzan charm or a silk wrap or Dromokus command? Boom. Abzan charm. Let's exile that guy. Activate this thing. Send in for the old four skis. Dang, I died. All right, we got him. Shot coming up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a interesting game. I had a really good curve of Gnarled and Offensive Rhino, but then I just had all lands, so.